Hello, in this video, I will demonstrate the rag loom usage by using a CogniView, which is a client user interface application. It's just for demonstration purposes. There can be any kind of client uh, which can be connected with the rag loom. First of all, we have rag loom service up and running and it's utilizing a vector store coordinate, which is up as visible on the screen. The rag loom is connected with large language model posted on Olalama locally it's utilizing gamma to 2b a model in the backend and there is local sentence transformers being used as well in the rag loom so yeah first of all i will send some questions to this rag which will send to the backend llm specifically for some information or data for which the llm is not trained so imagine in your company if you have some proprietary information or the private information for which you want to conduct some research or you're doing some analysis for new product development or it can be for optimizing your processes there can be any number of scenarios but you are unable to use those with large language artificial intelligence models the reason is a models are trained for past data and they don't have access to your private knowledge base inside your company so raglom gives feature of uh, utilizing that private data locally so first of all let's say i will send a question what is nova replies back nova is a type of exploding star if i specifically ask him what is nova sphere so i assume nova sphere is a rocket engine which is inside a private information repository for our organization. But this LLM doesn't know about this. So it replies, I need more context to answer your question. Please provide me with the relevant text or information about Novasphere. So see, you have large language model, which can be completely wrong or inaccurate sometimes. The next step is like in, in this scenario, instead of like there are multiple options. The first one is you can train uh, your own LLM, which is highly costly another thing is like your knowledge base which is proprietary or the private it keeps on growing so keeping up with the training is also not feasible technically and the best option which is very cost effective and very fast is using raglum it allows you to utilize your local knowledge base and llm can answer uh, your questions based on that knowledge it also gives the references so let's go to this demo app features. Let me upload some of the files. So all of these files contain information about Novasphere, a new rocket engine. Assume my company is designing that. So it have design information, engines, feature, launch system, materials, mission profile, everything. I'll give it path. So this uh, user interface or the demo UI will utilize the Raglom uh, RESTful interface for uploading these files into the local vector store. So this data doesn't leave your company. This will stay inside your company. And in, when you will send a question to RAG, for example, there is a chat API in settings. Uh, you can specify some configurations here in this demo application. Now let's go back to the chat and ask him again. So now see, it is replying about Novasphere. So now Novasphere is an experimental heavy lift launch vehicle designed for orbital logistics. So it's also giving the sources. So you are sure about from where this information is coming. It's giving the text which I uploaded, which is used as a source. So you can then perform like complex analysis and utilize LLM capabilities along with your knowledge base, which is private or inside your company. So there are so many options. It, it opens the new horizons for companies. So this is just a demo app. This is screen for chat and we have history screen. And then there is a rag features screen. It shows with which endpoint it's connected for ingesting documents, where you can specify the list of documents as I uploaded earlier. Then you can enable chunking at the client side. You can specify the chunk size or chunk overlap, as well as these can be controlled at the RAG server side. So once you upload, then the status is shown here. You can navigate the history. You can see the past upload cycles. If there is anything wrong, 
yeah, it will show that file wasn't uploaded. Okay. So moving to the settings, there is rag health as I started with earlier. It shows uh, which vector store Ragloom is uh, utilizing as well as the large language AI model as well as embedding uh, logic. So these can be changed uh, inside Ragloom server. You can connect LLM with ChatGPT or Mistral or any other compatible model or even like if some, you host some model as in this demo, I'm hosting a Gamma in local Olama in Docker Compose. So you can uh, change these with, as well as for vector stores, it supports multiple uh, kind of vector databases. And these can be hosted inside the premise of your company as well as uh, in some local cloud provider or it depends on uh, your uh, choice. Then in the chat, as uh, we have gone through, so there are multiple parameters which can be utilized. Then you can specify the RAG upload API as well. So this was a short demo and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.